In this video we're going to be looking at inductive definitions and defining exactly what we mean by these. Now the word induction, induct, means getting from one term to the next. Okay, So it, what an inductive definition does is it generates a sequence. A sequence that has a rule working behind it. So in order to do that, it must have two bits of information. The first bit of information is a first term. Now the first term I'm going to identify as U1. Okay? So U1 is the first term, U2 is the second term, U3 is the third term, and so on. So once you have your first term, you must then have a rule that gets you to the next term. And this is known as a recurrence relation. And will look something like this. The next term, the un plus oneth term, is, for example, 3un plus 5. Okay? So this may well be the recurrence relation for a sequence. So the recurrence relation tells you how to get to the next term. So let's say my first term is 1. Okay, right? So u1 is 1. Then the second term, u2, is 3 lots of u1 plus 5. So 3 lots of u1 plus 5, which would be 8. So u3 is 3 lots of u2 plus 5. So 3 lots of 8 plus 5. So 8, 16, 24 plus 5 is 29. And then you can keep going and you can say, well, u4 is 3 lots of 29 plus 5. So each of the terms uses the preceding term. So 3 lots of 29 um, is 87 plus 5 is 92. And then I can work out u5, u6, u7, etc. So this is an inductive definition. It defines the first term and the recurrence relation. Well, it tells me the first term and the recurrence relation, and it defines a sequence. Okay? And there are some things that we can do with this sequence, uh, which we'll be looking at in the next few videos.